L.A. gallery owner Bruce Lurie opened an art installation by Israeli-American artist Tomer Peretz. The Unbreakable Project characterizes the psychological complexities faced by young men and women serving in the Israel Defense Forces. You know that the Israeli soldiers portrayed in the media like in, in, in some, some different perspective, in different perspective, like they look like sh soldiers that like to shoot everyone and, and, and every situation that you see on TV, it's like, it doesn't look good, let's put it that way. So it's, it's not a military that I know. I know a human, I know a human, I know people with heart, I know, I know good people that serve in the military. And I think that's unbreakable. Is it an anti-war statement? No, no, there is no anti-war statement. It's actually a reason for a war. I'm not saying that war should be, but there is a reason for a war, and I'm showing the reason for a war. I'm not, I don't like the fact that there is war, but it's a reality, there is war. And it doesn't look like it's gonna be end up soon. So that's exhibition, it's about a war. Uh, how do you know what an IDF soldier experiences? I, I was a soldier for almost five years. Um, it's it's still here. I it, all the paintings, all the work. It's it's by by past memories. And, and what are you trying to show about the Israeli soldier? I'm, I'm just trying to show the reality. You know, some 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 of the stories are funny and 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 happy, and some of the stories are are sad. So there is no particular story that I'm trying to show. It's just reality. I'm trying to show the reality. What a soldier going through. Um, at the border, when there is like 10 women that curse him and, 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 and spit on him and, and trying to create some uh, uh, um, provocation, you know, some, some problems. That's what, that's what I'm trying to show. Um, Again, on TV you see different things. In this painting, you, you, you will see differently. It's different on those paintings. How would you characterize what he's showing here? Extremely powerful artwork, very uh, emotional and uh, narrative. What is it about this art you think that would appeal to Americans? Well, I think uh, many people can relate, especially nowadays because the war in Iraq and uh, Afghanistan uh, the uh, the toll it takes, uh, the human toll, uh, the emotional uh, toll it's taking, and uh, the quality of his artwork is is amazing. So uh, with that kind of combination, with the story that it tells and the, and the work, it's very narrative, and there's definitely some continuity to the work. When will it run through? The show, unfortunately, is only going to be up for a few days. It was only a limited time because we are booked for the season, but because of the nature of the artwork, uh, I decided to just, just do it. It's only up for four days. Very limited, unfortunately. So this, is, this exhibition is very close to my heart. As someone who has been to the Army and have seen these pictures live, and you know, as a soldier, I always wanted to show this true, this true, the, the feelings that go through the, the, the soldiers and uh, what's going on truly in Israel. And uh, this is what I do through my play. I, through my characters, I talk about Israel and uh, how is it to live in Israel when uh, you're under a threat, under a constant threat. And how is it to come to the United States and try to deal with everybody's responses about Israel, about the conflict. I think the American soldier and the Israeli soldier are different. I think there is a lot in common. I think there is a lot in common. I think they're going through the same thing that we're going through. But the difference is that they're smart. They're smart because, um, well, I'm talking about America. America is a very smart country because they don't let, they don't let other countries to talk to, um, to change the story. Okay? You don't see American soldiers hit Arabs in Iraq or something like you, you don't see it. And I see I think they are they are they are having the same problems that we have. The American soldiers in Iraq and, and in a, and, and in Afghanistan also. What do you hope to accomplish through this exhibition? 
um, I want to I want to show this exhibition just all over the world, everywhere I can. I want as many as people to see this art show. Not only Israelis and Jewish, just everyone. I think it's important. I think it's important people will know ab about those stories because people don't know. People don't know. People watch TV. They get information they get from the, t the, the, the DCN TV. And that's it. That's what they think. But people don't really know exactly what's going on. And that's a reality. What kind of reaction do you get from other Israelis to this show? It's um, different, different reactions. Some people ask me, why, why do you paint um, uh, crying soldiers? Like, we look weak, you know, it's weakness. I don't see weakness here. Actually, I see power. Um, I think a sensitive soldier is a powerful soldier. Um, but I get different reactions. Good, bad. It's all right. But the people who come, many of the Israeli men who come here were soldiers. Most of them. Most of them, yeah. Were soldiers. So you're painting their reality? Yeah. Legit reality. Only reality. Only my reality. It could be a, like his different reality or this guy different reality, but that's my reality. That's what I know. The Gush Katif painting, was that from the disengagement, Hitna Kut? Yeah. Did you train to do that? What do you mean? W were you involved in the... No, I wasn't. My friends, I have many friends who was involved. And they are still... They got hurt. Um, really bad because of that. They did it. Some of, some of them went to jail. Some of them did it. And, and Why would they go to jail? Because they didn't want to do it. They didn't want to pull out um, people from Gush Katif. So they went to jail. After a few days they got free, but they left the military. And they didn't want to hear about Israel anymore. They didn't want to hear about the military anymore. Because they forced them to pull out those people. But um, I, I didn't do it. I just... Um, for me, it represents a truth, it represents honesty, a lots of pain, um, something that needs to be open to the world, uh, but in a, in a good light, not in a negative light. What we see in the media. This is what this is Tomil's goal, and I think this is something that is very important for us. You know, as you see here, all these pictures. Each and every one of these pictures means something. It tells a story. It tells Tomil's story. And it tells many stories of soldiers that are not being told. So I think this is good for us. And, and I commend him. I commend him for this. I like the military. I love the, I, I love the Israeli army. I love Israel. I just don't know what I will do in this, this situation. I, I don't know. I, I know that I will never take Jew out of his house. I will never do it. I will never do it. But in the other side, I'm, I was a soldier. I was an officer also. So it's a huge, huge conflict, huge conflict. So that's the name of the painting, actually, conflict, that people had with, with himself. Yeah.